Okay, so we've got this problem where we are told to find the area. Find the area. Uh, but all we know is the circumference, right? So for in order to find the area, we're going to use our area formula, which is area equals pi times r squared. So we got a few steps in order to find r because that's what it's all going to kind of hinge on. So with the circumference, I know that the circumference equals pi times the diameter. So we're able to find the diameter if we do this. So let's um, do that. So if I know the circumference, they tell us here is 52.8 miles. We're going to, if I want the diameter to be on its own, means we got to get rid of this pi. So we're going to divide both sides by pi. Pi divided by pi cancels out. And so then we have 52.8 divided by, I'm going to just use 3.14 for pi. And that's going to give us 16, let's do that in the purple, 16. 0.82 miles. So we just figured out the diameter of this is going to be 16.82 miles. But I don't need the diameter. I need the, the radius. So we got to find the radius, just the distance from here to here. So now we're going to do some more math. And so I'm going to say, all right, well, if I know the diameter equals 2 times the radius, and I know the diameter we said was 16.82 equals 2 times the radius. So if I want the radius on its own, we're going to have to divide both sides by 2, right? We want to get rid of that 2. So 2 divided by 2 cancels out. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So 16 divided by 16.82 divided by 2 is going to give us 8.41 miles. So radius equals 8.41, exactly half. So now that I have the radius, now I can do the final part of the problem, what we were assigned, which is area equals pi times r squared. So I'm going to take my radius and I'm going to plug it in for r. So say 8.41. times pi squared. So now I'm going to square it. I'm going to say 8.41 to the second power, or we could also say 8.41 times 8.41. Right? 8.41. And we get 70.72. So I'm going to Area equals pi times 70.72. This is getting to be very big. So I'm going to multiply that by pi. So I'm going to go times 3.14. Remember, pi is a much larger decimal than that, but we can just round it to 3.14. So the area of this circle is going to be 222.09 miles squared.